Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and looking at the recent price movement as well as the fair valuation versus under and over valuation of the total cryptocurrency market cap. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel and check out the Telegram channel in the description below. So one of the things we've talked about many times is the 200 week moving average, um, wanting to hold support at it with potentially wicks going below it, even candles uh, going below it. Um, we've seen that in the past, back in the last market cycle over here. Um, but ultimately what we said was after we held um, the 200 week moving average as support, more or less, I know it's a few hundred among friends here, um, and we're not counting the wick, then we would expect the, the next target or say resistance would be at the 100 week moving average, which is previously where we found support a couple times when bouncing between the 100 and the 20 week moving average. So currently uh, you can see that in fact we did see that move um, from the 200 week to the 100 week. Uh, the price went around $7,100 or so, um, plus or minus, and um, we haven't had a candle there yet, um, but ultimately I would say that this would be a resistance area that if we can break through it, then the next target to get into more of a bull market um, mode where people are going to start pouring money back into the market, I think would be getting above the 20 week uh, because the 20 week is is currently at around $7,800. The 100 week is $7,100. The 200 week is around 55, getting closer to, to, to 5,600. You can see it's 5,595 um, and the 20 week is 7,826 and the 100 week 7,104. So if you if you're following along, then you know we're we're basically we're just watching these levels. Uh, we want to see the the price get back above the 100 week in the short term to start to bring some confidence back. But ultimately, we want to hold the 20 week as support. And you can see that again in the last market cycle, once we held it as support, we were basically in the bull run until we broke it. And then we basically held it as resistance. We got above the 20 week, failed to hold it as support. Got above the 20 week, failed to hold it as support. Hopefully the third time will be the time we hold it as support, and that might be around seven thousand dollars between maybe between the six to seven thousand dollar range when that occurs. Um, but we'll see what happens when we get there. Now, um, ultimately, you know, uh, the bearish scenario is is we drop back down to the to the two hundred week. Now, at the end of the day, the two hundred week is is more or less just imaginary. It's not like we can't go below it. Um, and what I would suggest is if we do go below it, then, you know, just keep your eye on the 300 week moving average, which is, um, if we, if we just bring up the 300 week, then you can see that it is currently around, uh, 30, I think 3,800, 3,900, 3,847. So this is ultimately that, you know, this would be, I would say my, my lowest, uh, realistic buy, buy level because I, I don't really think we're likely to go below it. Um, but then again, I, I don't eat my words on that. Um, anyways, uh, we'll, we'll, what we're going to focus on is the 200 week and the, the 20 week and the 100 week. So right now we are, we're just going to watch these key levels. And if we get above the 20 week, this is when, you know, this is when exuberance returns, when people start pouring money into altcoins etc. Now I want to show you guys the, the fair valuation um, uh, crypto market cap line that I have here. So the red line is a is the fair valuation trend line. So it ident identifies overvaluation when it's above the red line and undervaluation when it's below the red line. And remember this is at the total cryptocurrency market cap. Now the lower green dashed line is basically like our baseline. So this is a, a historically a really good time to enter the market and you can see during the last market cycle we were riding the bottom of this line for a couple of years or so whereas in this market cycle we've only just gotten to it and the reason this is is because previously despite the fact that the market cap was even lower than it is today um, the logarithmic regression line has continued moving upward over the last year so even a higher market cap now would be lower on the regression line if that makes sense so what I'm more or less expecting is for us to stay in this region um, for the foreseeable future, at least for you know many, many months, uh, maybe all of 2020, 
And at some point, we're going to hopefully break out of this and into another speculative bubble. But I don't, I, I think that, and I've shown this in, in many other videos, so I'm not going to show the math now. I think the next crypto market cap peak will be around 10 trillion plus or minus a few trillion. What's a few trillion among friends? Um, and I don't think it's going to happen until 2023 plus or minus six months or so. So, um, and, and you can see that if, if that were the case, if we were to go to 2023, this line up here is that $10 trillion mark. So you can imagine us um, staying in this region for a long time, and then peaking up here above 10 trillion, and then coming back down. So this is what I foresee. Now, if we draw a um, the, the overvaluation, the valuation versus um, the time, you can see during that first peak, so this peak compared to the trend line, it was overvalued by 2,000%. During the second one, it was overvalued by about 1,500%. During the third peak, it was overvalued by about 1,000%. So we'll draw the imaginary line and speculate that maybe the next one will occur sometime in 2023 and then be overvalued by about maybe 600% or so, so continuing down this trend line. So this is what I ultimately see for the market. Um, I know this doesn't sit well with a lot of people who want me to just say that Bitcoin's going to 100,000 in 2021, but I don't think that's the case. I think I think patience is going to be the, the winner here and the people that can um, uh, identify the market cycles for what they are, which I believe is lengthening, um, and not just a, a blind four-year cycle rinse and repeat, because in general, that's not how markets work. It's not just, um, oh, let's just put our money in, you know, in, in the in the two years before 2021, and, and then we'll see a 100 extra turn. That's not generally how things work. I also wanted to talk about the logo design contest winner. So in March, we opened up a contest to um, design a logo for the channel, and then the winner would get a year subscription <coughs> to the premium channel. Um, so we had around 50 people that entered, or at least 50 different logo designs. Some people um, uh, submitted more than one logo, um, but we do have a winner. And if you're in the Telegram channel, you've already have seen who it is. Um, so congrats to Rhett. Uh, he designed a pretty cool logo. So this is what it looks like. Um, here are a couple different uh, colorations of it. Um, so congrats to him. If you want to check who he is, check out who he is. You can go to rhett-wood.com, or he also has a YouTube channel. And we're going to actually take a look at that. Um, so here is his YouTube channel. He's actually got uh, around the number of subscribers I got, uh, 11.4 thousand subs. Uh, so he does have a bit of a following. Um, he talks about how to make 3D, um, or he has some like 3D tutorials, or it looks like a 4D tutorial. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out, uh, he's a good guy, knows what he's doing, um, and he made a pretty cool logo. He also has a website. Uh, rhett-wood.com where you can see some of the different things that he has made. Um, so congratulations to Rhett. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the logo. I think it looks pretty cool. It's got the um, uh, it's got the little uh, it's got or it's got a solar system in inside the uh, or sorry it's got a planet inside the inside the sea for uh, Cryptoverse. So I thought it looked pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think in the description below, or in the, sorry, in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you want to join the Patreon channel yourself, then uh, you just check the description uh, for patreon.com slash into the cryptoverse. And we provide, uh, you know, updated charts frequently. We have a Google Sheets document where you can follow along on some uh, different metrics like the total crypto market cap, the risk of Bitcoin, a Tesla valuation, um, the S&P 500 risk. Um, so check that out if you want to. If you'd rather pay with crypto, you can do that in the Coinbase Commerce link below. Um, but just it would be paying for many months up front since I have to do that manually for now. Um, so uh, again, subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.